Welcome back to Unity. In our last video, we learned how you can build your game and share it with your family and friends. In this video, we're going to learn how you can further customize and personalize your game using mods. The first thing we're going to learn how to do is to replace some of the straight track pieces with bumpy ones. Next, we're going to look at how you can create your own custom track layout using the provided modular track pieces. Let's get started. First, to replace a straight piece with a bumpy piece, select any of the straight track pieces which can be found in the hierarchy with the name Modular Track Straight. In the inspector, you'll see the components of that game object. We want to copy its transform component, which holds information about the game object's position rotation, and scale, so that we can place the new one in the same place with the same rotation. Click on the cog menu of the transform component, and then choose Copy Component. Before adding the new one, let's deactivate the current track game object by unchecking the box on the top left of the inspector, which will make it both inactive and invisible. Then. Let's add the bumpy track piece by navigating in the project window under Assets, Modular Track Kit, Prefabs, and choosing Modular Track Bumpy Straight. Drag it into the hierarchy, and you'll see it in the scene view, but it's not positioned and rotated the way we want it yet. We want to place the new bumpy piece with the same position and rotation as the original. We've already copied the transform data, so all we need to do is select the new piece, if it's not already selected, and in the inspector, click again on the cog menu of the transform component and choose Paste Component Values. With that done, you'll see that the new track piece is placed and rotated correctly. Now it's time to play and test your game. Congratulations, we've now successfully modified our track. If you want to, you can try replacing some of the other straight pieces with bumpy ones and try changing the speed of your cart to see how the new track is affecting our ride. After you're done playing around with that, let's move on to creating our own modular track layout. All prefabs in the modular kit folder were created so that they can be snapped together to create new track layouts easily. Before proceeding, we need to add the ProGrids plugin, which can be found in the Unity Package Manager. This tool helps us to snap our track pieces together quickly and easily using a grid. To activate the package, go to the Editor Navigation bar and choose Tools, ProGrids, ProGrids Window. A new toolbar will appear on the upper left side of the scene view. Before we continue, let's have a quick look at the settings and options in the ProGrids toolbar. The first field, Snap Settings, controls how many Unity units an object will be allowed to move at a time when you drag it. The eye icon, Grid Visibility, is to toggle on and off the visual guidelines in the scene view. The Snapping Enable button, as you might guess, enables and disables snapping. The Push to Grid button will snap all selected objects to the grid. The Follow Grid button will lock the grid to the selected object and allow you to move the entire grid as you move the object. You've also got four options to set grid planes, which allows you to display the grid on the X, Y, or Z or Z plane, or choose them all by selecting the last button labeled 3D. Let's make sure we have the correct settings as follows. The first field, the snap value, should be set to 1. The grid should be visible, follow grid should be off, and the y-axis is our active axis. Now, to get started laying out our track, drag a modular track prefab from the project window to the hierarchy. In the scene view, try moving it around, and you can see now how it snaps automatically to the grid. Press F to frame the selected game object so you can see it, and now let's try rotating it. In the inspector, change the Y rotation to 90 degrees. 
you want to use other values, you should use increments of 90 so that each piece will align with the other track pieces. So for example, 0, 90, 180, or 270. We're almost ready to run wild creating our own track, but I want to show you one thing first, which is how to scale a track piece. Let's drag a straight track piece from the modular track kit folder into our scene view. Let's say we want to have a two piece long track. We could snap two straight pieces together, but we can also achieve this by scaling it. Select a new straight track piece and using the inspector, set its transform scale on the Z axis to two. Now you know how to position, rotate and scale track pieces. It's time to have fun and build your own track layout. Now that you've built your ultimate track layout, it's time to add some checkpoints. The checkpoints are used to record if the player has gone through each of them before a lap is counted. If you look at your scene, you'll find that the existing checkpoints are all over the place. Select one of the checkpoints and move it into position on the track using the Move tool. If you don't have the Move tool active, press W or select the Move tool from the toolbar. You'll know it's selected because you'll see three arrows representing the X, Y, and Z or Z axes. Drag the checkpoint so that the player will pass through it while driving on the track. Repeat the process for the remaining checkpoints. When you're done, play the game and complete a lap to test the checkpoints. If the lap time appears, then congratulations, it's working. Here's one extra tip for positioning objects. If you want to have a default position or height for the new pieces, you can create an empty game object. In the hierarchy, you can right click and choose Create Empty. Move it into the position that you want, but don't scale or rotate it. Now, when you add a new piece, drag it onto the empty object to make it a child of the empty object. The position of the child will be relative to the parent. So if you set the position of the child to 0, 0, 0, it will match that of the parent. And if you move it, the new position will be an offset from the parent's position. You can, of course, still move it around freely. Since you've now learned all the skills to create your own track from scratch, give it a try. You can also play around with the current level, moving around the buildings, trees, and track pieces to create the coolest track that you can imagine. You can give it your own style by coloring the tracks, which you can check out how to do in the Splash of Color mod. You're the level designer now. Be creative, create a cool track, and have fun. I'll see you soon.